Hello everyone, it's me, Angelo Martin, and welcome to another Quickcast. So in our previous episode, we were looking at the different options in creating a note on the Mac. Now in this episode, we'll be exploring the note creation on the iPad. Now despite some of the similarities that are found both on the Mac and on the iPad, there are also additional options that we will look at, which is only available on the iPad. So to create a new note on the iPad, I can simply just go to the Notes app, tap on the New Notes button. Also, I can create a note through another app by going through its share sheet. So if I should now go into my Safari browser and I tap on the share button in my share sheet, just tap on the Notes button and it will add the website as a web link within either new note or I can even add it to an existing note in my notes app. Also, we can apply a lock note to our different notes. So if I should go back into my notes and I tap on the little ellipses, I'll see at the top, it allows me to also create a lock note. So if I should tap on the lock, it will then ask me to enter the password for my lock notes as I've added in lock notes before. And now it asks me to enable touch ID. So I'll just enable it and now I'll click on OK. So now I can see there is that lock as it was in my previous. It's also at the top there. I can tap on that lock to lock it. Alternatively, just tap on it again to unlock it. Because I've enabled my touch ID, I can just reopen it again and if you do want to change the password of the lock note you can go into your settings go to the notes setting and in your note setting you tap on password now in here you are able to choose what type of password whether it is the device passcode like you have on your mac with your login password you can keep it as custom you can disable the touch id uh, let me just disable this one so if i disable my touch id then if i do want to uh, change the password it will ask me to enter the old password of my lock notes alternatively if you have the touch id enabled then you can change the password use your touch id and it will not ask you for the old password. Now, those are the features that we can do both on the iPad as well as on the Mac. But let's look at the features that we can do only on the iPad. Now, I can also create a note directly through my control center. Now, I've disabled that button at the moment just to show you where you can find that setting just in case you find yourself in a similar predicament. So now if you go to the settings and in your settings, you go to the control center and then in your control center, you can just activate the notes button and you can see that it's now been added on. And if I now should go back into my control center, there's the new notes button. And if I tap on it, it will create a new blank note. Now I can also create a note directly from my lock screen. Now I can only achieve this if I have the Apple Pencil. So say for instance, I should now go into my lock screen and I tap with my Apple Pencil on the screen. It will create a new blank note. I can even write on this note. And I go back into my notes. I'll see that there's that note that I just created and it will even specify my handwriting as well as the title of this note. Now we can also change the behavior in terms of how it, a note that is created on the lock screen. So we can either create a new note or even view the notes that we've created on our lock screen, even view the notes that we have accessed previously. So to do that, I'll go into my settings and in my settings, I'll go to the note setting and right at the bottom of my notes setting, you can see it says access notes from lock screen. I can expand this because it only says they always create new note. I can choose the resume last note. Let's start with the create on lock screen. So this means it will resume the notes that I've created on the lock screen. So if I should tap with my Apple Pencil again on the lock screen, it will then just call up that note again. And we can set a time limit to create a new note every five minutes, or we can even make it to say never create a note. 
So in other words, if I should now switch it on for every five minutes and I go into my lock screen and I tap with my Apple Pencil, there you can see it brings back the note that I've previously made. I can also change this to say that it can only bring back the notes that I've viewed on the notes app. So if I should activate that setting with even setting this, your iPad is totally secure because it does require passcode to even access that note. So in other words, if I now put down my required password always, and let's go and just view this note over here. And now if I should go back into my lock screen and I tap with my Apple Pencil, it will ask me to either add in my passcode or my touch ID. Doing that, it goes back to that previous note that I've accessed. Now let's look at the quick notes features on the iPad. Now there are a few ways we can start the quick note. Now first of all, we can start the quick note through our control center, which makes it possible to even start it from our iPhone too. Now as you can see, I don't have the quick note button on my control center because I've disabled it in my settings to show you guys where that setting actually sits. So if I should go back into my setting in my control center, I'll see that there is the quick note option. So I'll tap on it, it's added. And if I should go into my control center, there is the quick note button. If I tap on it, it adds a little tab on the side, tap on it, and it will add in the new quick note. I'm just gonna tap on done. If you have an iPad keyboard or a smart keyboard or even just a Bluetooth keyboard attached to your iPad, then you can use the shortcut key, which is hold down the globe key and press the Q key, which will also open a quick note. Alternatively, you can use your finger or your Apple pencil to swipe from the bottom right hand corner which will then also bring up a quick note what makes the quick note super useful is the fact that it's an ideal tool for information gathering however we will look at this in our next episode when we take a deeper look at all the features that we can do within the quick note so guys please stay tuned to the next episode that's me angela martin take care and see you on the next one